Blank is fascinated by stories. Every one of her paintings has a title. From the ongoing saga of Charles and Camilla to the biblical tale of Moses recast as a modern-day frontiersman, all kinds of stories show up in her work. But Betty didn't start off as an artist. In fact, she has her PhD in engineering from UC Berkeley. Because I could. Why did I get a PhD in science? Because I could. Making a living was very important. My mother was almost like an early feminist. The most important thing was that I would be able to make a living and didn't have to be supported by a man. And the irony was that I got married at 18 and was married all my life. Betty worked in the sciences, raised a family, and painted on the side. But everything changed in 2000 when her mother died. They had been very close, and suddenly Betty knew that she had to start painting full time. Suddenly, she had things she wanted to say. It was called Tug of War. It's about my mother um, and her, her death and the family. Um, she had a, a very massive stroke. She lived for five weeks. And the family loved, she was such a loving person, such a wonderful person. We all loved her so much and she was so encouraging and so, um, that we surrounded her. And the picture is of that. Her actual death was when she was alone. She was in a coma and it was at eight in the morning before anyone could come. I do believe that the um, R, I don't know if you call them ancestors or our loved ones that die or not, they're still with us, okay? And um, I put her loved ones as angels above the bed and they're all waiting to take her away. And we are all trying to hold on to her down here in the world of the living. And then there's the ordinary things of at the hospital, the bag, with urine in it. The, the doctor is over on the left with the nurse and um, they did as much good at her, you know, decrepit condition as Alka-Seltzer. That's why I put Alka-Seltzer on the TV screen there. They brought me home a bag from the hospital of her garments and she always wore one of those very substantial bras and substantial panties. And these, her dress shoes with these substantial, comfortable floor shine shoes, you know, with the, the sandals, that, that was wedding fair or going out fair. So they brought this home and I, it's so much her. So I had to make a painting of that. And I had to, I put all her sayings in it. She was one to always preach and teach. And, but all these things have given me confidence, like a woman can always change your mind, that gives you confidence. You don't have to be consistent. You can change your career, you know. The major turnaround, as far as putting words in painting, I use a lot of words, was Howard Finster, Reverend Howard Finster. I went to a show 15, 20 years ago, and I just was blown away. It was amazing. And this bottle right here. Howard Finster was a preacher turned painter late in life. Before he died in 2001, he was the best-known folk artist in America. Betty Blank also admires Horace Pippin. After being wounded in World War I, Pippin began to paint his memories of war and of his childhood. These artists told stories they felt compelled to tell about life as they knew it. Betty's work has some of that in it, too. First, I like to paint the family stuff. Then I like to paint what's called genre paintings, the everyday. Just following me around in the course of a day. And one of the things I like to do is get a pedicure every couple months at the Madison Hill Nail Salon, which I call the Temple of Nails. Well, one day when I was sitting there, and it's sort of bizarre, you sit in these high chairs and, you know, these people work on your toes. And <laughs> anyway, and they have a TV set. On the TV set was President Bush, and he was announcing the war in Iraq. Saddam Hussein and his sons must leave Iraq within 48 hours. Their refusal to do so will result in military conflict, commenced at a time of our choosing. 
as our coalition takes away And it was power. so bizarre to be sitting we'll there having the apparatus of terror. pedicure and everybody's we'll having manicures and right. pedicures and is this more being nasty? prosperous right? and free. Everyday places like a laundromat or a suburban sushi restaurant all reveal visual patterns and beauty when seen through the eyes of Betty Blank. This is her territory. At Yuki Hana Sushi, a copy of her painting hangs near the front desk. Betty and her husband, Stu, have lived in Madison, New Jersey for over 30 years. Knowing it so well gives Betty some of her richest material. She's planning a painting now of a favorite Chinese restaurant where she and her husband are regulars. Mm -hmm. Did you go to Montauk yet this year? It takes me um, sometimes almost a year to figure out what to do in a painting. Before I hit the canvas or the sketch pad, I have to work a lot out in my mind. You know, it's just a rough sketch, but I want to, in the painting, I want to do more of the, he has stuff for sale under here, you know, like little Chinese dishes. I'm always thinking of, uh, you know, the next five paintings. Most of the 30 by 40s take me over a year to do. The big one of Provincetown took me three years. You get stuck and you can't proceed. And it has to be put away, you have to resolve it. Paintings are selling, people are interested, and Betty is painting as if she can't keep up with her own ideas. She loves it, but says it wouldn't have worked out when she was younger. No, 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 absolutely not. I have read widely. I used to read three novels a week when I was young. I've studied science, I've studied all kinds of things. I've, I've heard a lot of jokes, I love jokes. You can see from the paintings. I couldn't paint this even when I was 45. So the whole life went into this. I love the storytelling part of it. 